All right, well, this article had some interesting ideas. Again, I was hoping that it would be a good overview, a good way to end um, our reading. Um, a couple things that I agree with. Uh, yes, I, it's obvious that the automotive industry is undergoing a digital transformation and now you know, changing how cars are built and even changing um, the industry and in that all manufacturers now, I believe, have their own in-house UX UI. I do know that's true of uh, the big three in Michigan. Um, I found it interesting that they're saying that voice control is going to be um, probably the future of automotive. And it just, you know, this was written in 2020. It just hasn't happened. Um, I would really love to be able to in, be in a classroom right now and ask you um, if you have an interactive infotainment system, do you actually have, um, well, I can share my screen. Sorry about that. Um, here we go. Um, do you have voice control and do you use it? Uh, I don't think that most people have. I don't, I don't know what's stopping most people from using voice control. It seems like the, the right solution, but it just, I don't know, in my opinion, it hasn't caught on. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Um, I do like the fact that they talked about how um, the interface design is a little complex. It's uh, complex because you're designing for a couple of groups of people, not just the driver, but also the passengers. And of course, it's complex because we've got to design for safety in mind. Uh, on that note, a lot of you have type that I would consider overall too big for the screen. But because this is for a car, I, I'm i not going to call that out. If, if this was um, text on the screen for an app, I would say your text is probably too big in some cases. But for a car, I don't really know if it can be too big, if the icons can be too big, well, to a point that it uses up too much screen space, maybe, but, um, you know, your text is probably a little bit large, and that might be good for a car. Uh, an another idea, it's kind of interesting how they say that the future of cars the the software should act as a co-pilot. Again, we're getting to that idea of, of Tesla that the car is going to be self-driving. And we've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm, okay, I say he's been talking about it at least for six years. It just hasn't happened. Will it happen? I, yeah, it probably will in time. But it seems to be taking a lot longer than he has predicted. And I'm talking about Elon Musk. And he's always saying, oh, it's next year. And it just hasn't happened. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that article. It was your last article to read. Um, that's exciting. Last read of all. So um, with uh, week six here, you got just that article. You've got more secondary screens to build your conclusion, and down to your usability study. Again, these are the, th the things I want you to be able to do. Um, the, the task for a common vehicle, be able to find a gas station on the using navigation and maps, um, how to pair your smartphone, how to turn on music, how to control the air temperature, how to answer a phone call or make one. Those are the things. The, and the semi is uh, pretty similar. You just also have to show me um, 
their battery strength and health other than controlling the air temperature. So those are those uh, things to do. Looking on to uh, week seven, um, once you have your usability study done, you're going to know what needs to be done next for your final week of classes. And that is improving any flaws that you can find from the usability study. So let's say someone um, does a study, they get lost, they get confused about doing any one of those paths. The path to say find a gas station. They can't figure out how to get there, how to enter text to, or even use voice control to request a gas station. Uh, that would be a great time to fix that. And anything else, of course, that comes up, great time to fix it. And I need a prototype, not just the screens, but I need a functional prototype for you to be able to pass the class. I also need you to have a complete book to pass the class. And you wonder, well, what's a complete book? I've got it all written there. You can have a checklist you can download, or you can just look at it. Do I have a market outline? Do I have an outline of features? Do I have a flow chart? You know, and you just go through, and of course, you've got most of these things. If you haven't gotten it in there, I did try to grade and write out what was missing so you knew exactly what to add. So I think at this point, um, you should be pretty familiar with thinking like a user experience, user interface designer. You're thinking about the person, in this case, driving a car, doing the secondary task that we talked about. You figured out how to balance design and the needs of safety. And your screens, you're doing fabulous. You're getting, you know, most of you are like 15 to 20 screens right now. So that's awesome. Just make sure you have all your paths and, and you will, you will have it what I consider an excellent portfolio piece. And I consider it that because um, screens are going to become more common in the future. Everything is going to have a screen. And if you are the one designing those screens, you'll get paid well. So these are skills I want you to be able to lead with. Now at this point, you might think to yourself, well, I'm not really that interested. Well, okay, fine. But it's good that you're leaving with these this knowledge because eventually it's probably going to catch up to you. One day you are going to be designing some screens. It could be as simple as a website. It could be as complex as, say, a heating and cooling control system for your house. But let's have you leave uh, knowing how to design more than just a logo, a business card, envelope and letterhead. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have any questions from anyone related to uh, anything we've talked about? Um, you guys are so classy. <laughs> okay. So it means that um, what I've explained is it's clear and the class is working okay. Uh, I feel like I've thrown a lot at you, but I don't want to waste your time. In other words, I want you to really learn something and really have something for your portfolio from this class. So you might think, well, this is an awful lot for a spring summer class. That's kind of crazy. Um, well, I hope it wasn't overwhelming, but I do hope that it was something that was beneficial. And it's only going to be beneficial if it's somewhat challenging. If it was a walk in the park, eh, you're really not going to have a good portfolio piece, in my opinion. All right, with that, I, I take it you, you understand and you know what's going down. All right, I look forward to seeing your um, updated books and updated interfaces. Thank you.
in case it does that.